Hello viewers, uh, thank you for watching Tech Quantum and thank you for subscribing to our channel and also showing interest in this new playlist uh, where we have started uh, a conversation, a casual conversation with Richard Kurt, who is on uh, from the finance background. So in this particular video, what I'm interested to know is about um, the tools that are used during the user acceptance testing. So Richard, the question is to you that yep. in FinOps, um, before, you know, customer has to do the user acceptance testing before uh, the code or extension can be put forward to the production environment. So are there any tools available or how do you do that in FinOps? I have heard about a tool called Regression Suit Automation Tool, uh, but I know nothing about it. So if you can give a brief high level overview of it, that would be really helpful. Sure, Parish. Uh, so, um, guys, uh, this regression suite automation testing tool, which is also known as RSET, is basically built to reduce the uh, time and complexity of uh, phases like UAT or whenever you consume a new update from Microsoft, you may want to rerun all the business process test cases. And this tool, RSET, uh, is uh, driven or powered by three major uh, components, right? So uh, one is the task recorder. And if you remember, Parish, I touched base on this task recorder tool in one of the FinOps uh, overview video videos. Yeah. And uh, the ability of this tool is that end users can record the business process step by step and save it, right? So our set tool is powered by three major uh, you know platform tools one is task recorder the second one is azure devops so what happens is in azure devops under uh, the testing uh, suite we can create test plans right so what happens is that the business processes which are recorded by the task guides are converted to the uh, DevOps test cases, right? And to do that, this connection between DevOps and your task recordings is via the BPM, right? Via the uh, business process libraries, which exist in a cloud portal, which is called Lifecycle Services. So the three major uh, components of uh, which um, which, you know, which drive this whole R set tool are task recorder, um, business process libraries (BPMs), which are under your LCS and the DevOps test suite. So, if I have to summarize in a nutshell how it works is, uh, you need to uh, ensure that your business process libraries are configured in your finance and operation environment. They are available under system parameters. So once your uh, LCS is configured, that means your finance and operation uh, instance can talk to your BPM. Then users uh, will start recording their business process via task guides. Once the task guide records a business process, that recording can be uploaded to the business process uh, libraries in LCS. Once these recordings are uploaded to LCS, from there, you can synchronize it with DevOps. What happens when the business process modeler synchronizes it to DevOps is it creates work items in your DevOps, work items of type test case, test work items. Once this synchronization is done, now you can log into DevOps test suite and add those test work items to your test suite, right? Now this is whole building that uh, uh, you know readiness for our set tool. This we haven't touched our set yet, but what we have done is we have given that foundation for our set to run. So we need these three things to be uh, there. Now now how does our set comes into picture? So our set needs to be installed on a computer, right? It's a tool. It's a sort of a Windows. Uh, tool you need to double click and install it via installer and you need to be administrator on that machine once you install that tool you have to basically configure 
this tool to talk to your uh, finance and operations environment and there is a very detailed elaborate article on docs i won't go too deep into this talk uh, but there is a way to uh, establish that connection by giving your urls uh, some certificates which you can download from lcs and you have to configure those certificates in the machine on which that r set tool is running once this r set is connected and configured with your finance and operations environment and in those configuration settings you also have to give the url of your devops where your test case exists so you install our site you configure it and then you download those test cases from um, the devops and then what you have to do is you have to generate a parameter file which basically is an excel file where all your recordings so when you record a business process you are entering values in the system all those values are uh, captured in the task recording and they are shown in the excel parameter file so basically what you do is our set tool can then be used to trigger the test cases in your devops mm -hmm. and you get a nice summary of uh, you know how many test cases are executed and how many of them have passed how many of them have failed mm -hmm. now what happens is uh, the the art here is how you define your test cases how you record them and how you store them in your devops test suite mm -hmm. but once this whole foundation is set up uh it works nicely uh, there may be few scenarios where you find some issues setting it up setting the execution file uh, but uh, once you start playing with this tool uh, you spend some time with it you get used to it and you understand how it works there are possibilities to change the test cases also so you don't have to record one big process having 50 steps in it try to break your you know big business processes into small steps and have those recordings work independently and then you can reference and chain those test cases and how that helps is for example you have a procure to pay process you can have one test case which is just to create a purchase order second test case just to confirm a purchase order third test case just to receive the purchase order that way you can uh, divide your uh, test cases now once your r set is configured once your devops is configured what you can also do is you can automate this as a part of your build process so whenever you apply new updates to environment or you apply new code uh, code which is coming through uh, via extension packages when you run a build it sort of triggers your r set test cases and as a part of build your test cases gets executed and if there is any breaking test case you get to know it early before even you deploy it into the environment so um, that is this is our set in a nutshell it helps you reduce your regression testing it is it is not a unit testing tool so for unit testing there is a separate framework sys test framework we can talk about that in a separate video but regression suite automation tool is for uh, regression testing right and it reduces your time it takes initially it may require some you know uh, some investment from time perspective but once the uh, baseline is set you can actually leverage your end users to record tasks you know test cases for you and you can you know they, you can then reuse it so that's our set in a nutshell parish yeah yeah um richard what i think is that yeah that that was a good high level overview but in upcoming videos if you can Uh, give a short demonstration as well that would be really good to see our set uh, in one go um but what i can understand is that um obviously there is a now there is a tool available called our set uh, where you can really minimize your testing efforts down the line initially obviously there will be some configurations required but it works along with your devops uh, and when you create a build those set of tests that you define run automatically for you um and does that mean that if any test fails uh, the build also fails is that also the case uh, richard right so you can configure your build pipeline to behave in a certain way so okay. if you if you want to you know break the build if the r set has failed uh, you can define that in the uh, devops build pipeline okay so that's that's very good to know that you can actually use um the whole devops suite as well along with it 
which yeah. gives um, a, a very holistic picture where you can create your work items, create your bugs, and also send to your functional or uh, admin people based on the, the errors that come up. So yeah. um, that was a good overview, Rachit, and I think our users also got a good idea. We will certainly uh, try to explain this more in uh, some video down the line. We'll plan that out. Yeah. And for you viewers, uh, keep watching and stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. Bye. Bye, viewers. Thank you. Mm -hmm.